How much is your knowledge in mathematics when it comes to number? Probably this day, this will be your first encounter of this lesson. Let's find out. Good day. Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to this new episode of Learning with Master Aljun. Today, we will tackle a fresh lesson and it is all about algebraic numbers. Are you familiar with this concept? Or do you have an idea on what this is all about? Alright, so in this video, We'll try to expound your learning, so just keep posted. Since our topic today is all about algebraic numbers, then let's talk first about algebra. So here's the origin of algebra. Ancient Babylon and Egypt are the two places that were at the center of the development of algebra. Both of these civilizations use algebra in different ways and for different reasons. But it's generally accepted that it was the Babylonians who first made basic use of algebra and pioneered in its beginning in the field of mathematics. There is evidence of this that dates back as far as 1900s to 1600s BC. So let's define algebra. Algebra is a branch of mathematics that uses mathematical statements to describe relationships between things that vary. These variables include things like the relationship between the supply of an object and its price. When we use a mathematical statement to describe a relationship, we often use letters to represent the quantity that varies, since it is not a fixed amount. Now that you have an idea about algebra, so we will proceed on discovering what is an algebraic numbers. Based on the definition, an algebraic number satisfied the polynomial equation a sub n x to the power of n plus a sub n minus 1 x to the power of n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2 x raised to the power of n minus 2 until a sub 1 x plus a sub 0 x is equals to 0 where a sub 0 a sub 1 a sub 2 until a sub n minus 1 a sub n are all elements of integers. Also, a sub n must not be equal to 0. And our n must be greater than or equal to 1. So this means that a number will be considered as an algebraic number if it satisfies in this polynomial equation. So, where its numerical coefficients are set of integers and the leading coefficient must be not equal to 0 and um, our n must be greater than or equal to 1. Here's another definition of an algebraic numbers. So, an algebraic number is any complex number which is integral over the field of rational numbers will be called an algebraic number. 
and if it is also integral over the ring of rational integers, then it, is, it will be called an algebraic integer. So, when solving polynomials, the equation is set to zero and the variable is isolated. After performing the needed mathematical operations, a solution to the variable is found. A number that is a solution, a root, or a zero to a polynomial function that has rational coefficients is an algebraic number. It is the value of x when a non-zero polynomial, or p of x, that has rational coefficients is set to zero and the variable x is evaluated. So take this simple polynomial for example. So we have here p of x is equals to x squared plus 2x minus 15. So in our polynomial equation, we have the coefficients 1, 2, and negative 15. And these uh, numbers are rational numbers and also integers and integers are part of rational numbers. And this polynomial is set to zero and solve. If this polynomial is set to zero and solve, the answers are called solutions or roots. And these are also called algebraic numbers. So here we have a polynomial equation x squared plus 2x minus 15 is equals to 0. If we find its factors, so we have x plus 5 and x minus 3. So to and the roots of the equation is 5 and 3. So therefore, simply put, the solution set of x is the set of algebraic numbers. Now, I will be giving you facts about algebraic numbers. So here's the first fact about algebraic numbers. Algebraic numbers can be an integer, a rational number, a complex number, or even special irrational numbers like the golden ratio. As long as the number becomes a solution to a one-variable polynomial, it is classified as an algebraic number. Here's some facts. Another fact about algebraic numbers, so stated here, all rational numbers are algebraic numbers. So all rational numbers are algebraic numbers. Rational numbers are defined as number numbers that have numerators and denominators. All integers may be considered rational numbers because they are all can have a denom denominator of one. Thus, rational numbers can be expressed in the form of a fraction or a decimal that terminates, for example, 0 0.125 or is never ending but repeats, for example, 0 0.333 and so on. Now, try to reflect on algebraic numbers through this video. So, in this moment, I'll be giving you some examples of algebraic numbers. So, here in our first example, we have here radical. 
positive negative square root of 2. So, why this is considered as an algebraic number? Because they are solution 2x squared minus 2 is equals to 0. So to further understand this, um, we have here an explanation. If you wondered, um, square, square root of 2 is considered as an algebraic number. So here, we let x is equals to the square root of 2. So if we square both sides, this yields to x squared is equals to 2. Then if we transfer 2 on the left, so this become x squared minus 2 is equals to 0. And if you notice, we have, we got an polyno a polynomial equation, x squared minus 2 is equals to 0, wherein the square root of 2 is a solution of this polynomial equation. Okay, so that is why square root of 2 is an algebraic number. Next example, we have here an integer 7. So why this is considered as an algebraic number? It is because x minus 7 is equals to 0 has a solution of x is equals to 7. And 7 is an integer and it is part of a rational number. And it is said earlier that um, a rational number is an algebraic number. Next example, we have here repeating decimals, 0 0.222 and so on. So why this is considered a, as an algebraic number? It is because they are solutions to 9x minus 2 is equals to 0. Next example, we have here complex numbers. So positive negative 3i or positive negative square root of negative 3. So why this is considered as an algebraic number? So it is because they are solutions to x squared plus 3 equals to 0. So you have acquainted with the different um, examples on, of an algebraic numbers. So now I'll be giving you numbers that are not um, or that that is not considered as an algebraic number. Here we have an example e. So e is equivalent to 2.71282 and so on. We have also pi which is equivalent to 3.14159 and so on. So why this is not considered as an algebraic number? So stated here, if a real number is not algebraic number, then it is transcendental number. It is transcendental number. This is the opposite of an algebraic number. In fact, almost all real numbers are transcendental because the set of algebraic numbers is countable. So, this will be our next topic on our next video. It is all about transcendental number. So, just keep posted here in my social media accounts and, and also with my YouTube channel. And together, we'll have a great fun learning. So, I have questions here. How was our lesson today? Did you have fun learning? So comment in the comment section if you have fun learning or um, your questions about our topic today. So thank you so much everyone and may God bless us all. See you in my next videos. Thank you.